Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, August 25th. Thank you so much for joining into our weekly PPACA webinars. It is the time of year where we start, well, maybe I'm speaking personally, we start to get a little bit crazed about what's coming up for the fourth quarter and not only open enrollment for all the 12 one and one one groups, but of course, open enrollment for the individual segment. So uh, hopefully you find these helpful. We're going to have a lot more information as, as the days and weeks go on. So, um, you know, again, if you can't join in every week, that's certainly fine. I know everyone's busy. If you do register, you will get a link of the recording of the webinar. So um, hopefully you'll at least do that and be able to kind of pop some corn and keep abreast of all the changes. Um, when you're looking at it on your own time. So let's just jump right in. I don't have a lot to discuss today, but I do have some things that I think are important to remind you of and to, to also discuss. The FFM certificates, where do we send them? Uh, that is a good question. I can tell you that the carriers still have not released uh, details on that. Um, it looks like most of the carriers, as I mentioned in weeks past, are going to be using that new site from the CCIIO where they go in and, and verify that, <clears throat> pardon me, that you are certified for 2007. Um, but I do know that the blues are staying with the Sales Sentinel where you have to go in and log in, uh, go through some ex ethics um, screens, and then upload your certificate. We do not have those details yet. So Keep watching. As soon as I get them, they will be in my newsletter. Um, there will be a, a specific set section within the newsletter that uh, it's going to be easy to find for, for you. So hopefully um, you'll keep watching and, and uh, get that information and take care of that. As we move forward to open enrollment for Medicare as well, uh, we do, as many of you know, have an annual conference. And that conference is a week from today. That's September 1st at the Hershey Lodge from 8 to 4. All of our carriers will be there talking about their programs for 2017. Some new carriers, obviously, Vibra Health will be there. So if you have any interest in doing Medicare, learning about these products, or if you currently do Medicare, um, you know, work in that segment, I think it's definitely important for you to register. And I put last call because I know that the, the seats are getting filled. There are some slots left because uh, we allow for cancellations, of course. But if you have any interest, don't delay. Go on to our website and register. Um, UPMC, the grandmothered group renewal options for November 1st and 12-1. They, the information is in my newsletter. There's some information about a option one is you can elect a 14-month renewal for a November renewal date or a 13-month renewal for a December date. Uh, basically, they're running the, for the 11-1 renewals, they're running the program, the grandmother programs from 11-1 of 16 to 10-31 of 17. And then as of 11-1 of 17 through 12-31 of 17, they have a zero deductible. Um, so it's kind of like a, they're extending the contract, kind of. Um, but that information is in my newsletter. There are other options as well. Um, so if you do have UPMC groups out there, just be mindful of that, of course, this is specific to the grandmother or the non PPACA groups uh, in the 2-50 to 50 market. And let us quote them. Um, so COBRA, I did, uh, you know, as many of you may not know, um, part of URL's offerings on the group health segment is that for groups of 20 plus, we offer complimentary COBRA. Uh, we utilize Prime Pay and their services, and we pay for that for your groups. So if you do have a group 20 plus, again, if you're doing your group business with us, then that, that COBRA administration is complimentary. Um, I, I do want to be mind, you to be mindful of, of some facts. Um, you know, there is mini COBRA in Pennsylvania for the 2 to 19. Uh, so if you have a group 2 to 19, a smaller group, then, then mini COBRA applies, which has different um, lengths of participation, eligibility, uh, et cetera, than the federal COBRA for the 20 plus. But one thing as we start to look at these quotes and 
start to look more at some of the self-funding options or the level funding options, when they go down to you know, five or six, like a lot of them are, the COBRA, the mini COBRA does not apply. So you have to be mindful of that, obviously, because if you have a, a you know a self-funded smaller group below 19 or below 20, and they have a a person terminate or leave, they don't have a COBRA option. They can't have a COBRA option. So immediately their choices are to either go on to another group health plan if that is they're leaving for another employer or to look at the individual market. Uh, COBRA is not an option. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, if you have more questions on that, just let me know. There's a few other caveats, but again, I just wanted to share uh, that information as we start to write more and more self-funding programs. Independence Blue Cross and Lehigh Valley Health Network. Um, received a notice. It is not in my newsletter. If you want to um, see it before next week, I got it in after the fact, but if you want to see it uh, before next week, then let me know and I'll shoot you an email with the information. Um, but what they're saying is that to date, Lehigh Valley Hospital, let me see, I'll read it verbatim. To date, we have been un unable to reach an agreement with Lehigh Valley Health Network, which includes Lehigh Valley Hospital, Lehigh Valley Hospital, Molenberg, and the physicians they employ. The terms of the current agreement are scheduled to end effective October 1st. So there will be communication as of Thursday of next week, September 1st, if an agreement is not reached because there is some level of continuity of care, but for the most part, if you've not been seen by an LVHN provider and the agreement is not reached, then you will have to choose another primary care physician. This is specific to the HMO and the POS members, and they will receive a letter informing them of the termination effective October 1st, and the letter will be sent out by September 1st. So again, you're going to probably have some clients that fit into that, those categories and um, just don't want you to be blindsided when you get those calls. Um, renewals. I say this the, the last several weeks. I've said this. Renewals. Let us quote them for you. The 12 ones are coming out soon. In fact, Highmark is supposed to be releasing them uh, tomorrow. I'm not holding my breath. Maybe next week. And then, of course, Capital <coughs> pardon me, is releasing as they said, 9-1. So let us quote them for you. For you. Don't wait until closer to 12-1. There's a lot of moving parts with these renewals, and we want to make sure that we're offering you a good spreadsheet of options for your clients, and in order to do that, we need some time to get those done. So don't wait. As soon as you get those renewals, let us help you quote them and get you some good options. And quite frankly, the options, one of the options might be that they should stay where they're at um, with those non-PPACA groups. And that's it. Um, and that brings us up to the open forum. I just want to remind you, next webinar is um, Thursday, September 8th at 9.30. There will be no webinar next week on September 1st. Uh, first, we have our Medicare Connections Conference, of course, but I will personally be out at another event, uh, so I will not be here to run the webinar, but we'll catch up on the 8th of September. So let's just open it up now for questions, and Dave says, is Mini Cobra required for 2 to 19? It is, Dave. It is a state law. Hmm, and Tracy said, I keep going in and out for my voice, so I apologize for that. Hopefully you you got enough out of it. Uh, if not, Tracy, call me. I can I can catch you up, or anyone else for that matter. So that's it. Those are uh, all the updates I have for this week. I will be back here in two weeks from today on September 8th to hopefully bring you up to speed on anything new that we learn. And again, if you have any questions, reach out to us. We're we're, you don't have to wait till our weekly webinars. Um, we're happy to give you the information that we have and share anything that we can uh, with you that we know. So I wish you all a great balance of the day and balance of the week. 
tomorrow's Friday. Yay. And of course, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks. Bye-bye.